Hello everyone and welcome back and in this video you will learn to connect your chatbot application with Google Sheets and Ncharge. So here we are connecting these three applications in such a way that as and when any conversation is going to end with any of your lead or any of your customer you are having in your chatbot the details of that lead is going to be fetched from the chatbot and will be added in the Google Sheets application and the same details will be created as a person in Ncharge application as well which is a sales and marketing automation platform right so if you are using these three applications this automation is going to be very useful guys and it will help you in collecting and managing the data of your leads and in an efficient way you can nurture your leads let me show you how this is going to work so this will be the flow of this automation here suppose that any person is uh, engaged in any conversation with your chatbot that you have created with the help of bot baba application so as this conversation is going to end the details of the person who is conversing with your bot is going to be added here in this google sheet application and also the same person is going to be added here in ncharge application as well automatically so you need not to manually follow up the conversations and collect the details it will happen automatically and it will save your time, your energy and boost your productivity. So we are using public connect application to create this automation and the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So guys, let's set up this automation together. So to start with this automation, you need to reach the dashboard of public connect application first and to reach here, you can use this link pabli.com slash connect. And here you can set up your free Pabli Connect account by clicking on this sign up free button and in just two minutes you will have a free account in which you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, so after setting up your account you can log in and reach here on this dashboard. And guys here you have to create a workflow for that just click on this create workflow button and here you can give a relevant name to your workflow so I am giving the name here as a bot baba to google sheets and and charge automation okay so you can give any name according to you after that just click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here so on this page you will see the trigger and the action so guys this automation is going to work on these two things only so the trigger is the happening of an event which is going to trigger or make this workflow start and the action would be the response towards the trigger so in this use case the trigger would be any conversation that is going to uh, end in your chatbot that you have created in bot baba application okay so first of all you need to set up this trigger and the action towards that trigger would be to send the person's details in google sheets and and charge okay so click here in this trigger section and from this choose app field you have to search for bot baba application which is this select it and here it is asking for the trigger event so the trigger event would be a new bot conversation okay select it then click on connect here and from this window select add new connection option and here it is asking for the authorization token so you need to navigate to bot baba account to find the authorization token so uh, let me show you my bot baba account here is my bot baba applications dashboard and here you will find the profile so click on edit profile and when you sc scroll down here in the profile section you will find this authorization token so just copy it from here and paste it here in this field in your workflow and then click on save and you can see we are getting connected with bot baba okay and here it will show you the bot id so when you create a bot here it will give you a bot id let me show you my chat bots okay you can see this is a chat bot i have created this is the id which got selected here automatically now guys click on save and send test request now guys what we are going to do we will open my chatbot and we'll start our demo conversation here okay i am going to do the conversation with the chatbot that i have created and we are going to fetch the response of that conversation here when it is going to end okay so that will act as a test test data for us okay with the help of test data we we are going to move forward 
let me show you here is my uh, chat bo bot baba applications dashboard and from here i can open this chat bot you can see we have the share link here so you can use this link to add this bot in your website or any other page okay so let me open this in a new tab so this is a chat bot guys which actually i have created for uh, job uh, recruitments okay so let's say that you are running a job consultancy service so you have created this bot inside your website okay so here let me talk to this bot so i'm going to say to him i'm looking for a job okay and the bot is going to reply here automatically it is asking me to provide the phone number so here let me type my phone number okay and now it is asking okay you have to enter a valid 10 digit number only okay now it is asking the name also so let me type my name okay and then it is asking for the email address let me give the email address as well okay so i have given the email address and now the conversation is ended here okay now let's check in our workflow here we have save and send test request button click on it and the data of this conversation that we have just ended here with the bot uh, where is my bot this conversation data is going to be fetched here in this workflow okay so i'm clicking on save and send test request guys and you can see we got the response here in here like this and in this response you can see uh, the question and the answers that the bot has received and you can see we got the phone number okay the name okay the email address so we got the details of the person who is conversing with the bot now i can add the details of this uh, lead that we have generated with the help of a chat bot inside my google sheets application so here in this action step i am going to connect google sheets application to send the data to my google sheet automatically okay so here in the action event select add new row option then click on connect and from this window select add new connection then click on connect with google sheets from here you have to select the google account by which you have created that sheet then provide some additional access to pavli connect just click on continue from here and you will be connected with your google sheets like this all right so i can show you this is my sheet actually guys named as bot baba and here i have i am adding the uh, details of the people who are conversing with my chatbot okay so here you can see it is asking after getting connected it is asking to select your spreadsheet and when you click here it will show you the list of all the sheet spreadsheets that you have created till now in google sheets and the name of our sheet is bot baba okay here it is so i am selecting this one all right and you can see the sheets name here it got selected here automatically because we have only one sheet here named as data okay and now it is asking for the name email and the mobile number so these are nothing but the headers of the columns that i have here name email and mobile number so to get these uh, things filled here automatically in a new row we are going to map the values of these things here and we are going to map the values from this previous step where we have fetched the test data okay so to map the things just click here on this name field and it will show you the bot baba step and the drop down and from here only you can map uh, the name that you got captured here like this this is the name just map it similarly for the email use the bot baba step and here you will find the email like this okay map it and here in the mobile number field map the mobile number like this okay so we are done mapping the details now you can check your connection with google sheets by clicking on save and send test request and this data will be added here in this spreadsheet in this row okay let me show you so i have clicked on save and send test request guys and this is the response we have received 
let's check in our spreadsheet if we got the data added and he can, here you can see a new row is added here with the same details that we captured from the bot and mapped in my workflow okay this is how it is going to work now guys what i want i want to add this same person whose data we have captured in ncharge application okay for that to happen just click here on this plus icon and another action step op will open up from here search for ncharge okay this is ncharge selected in the action event guys select add or update person option okay then click on connect and from this window select add new connection and click on connect with ncharge all right and here it is asking allow Babli connect to access your account okay click on allow so it will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in as i have already logged in it is just asking me to allow the access and as i clicked on allow you can see we are connected and here it is asking for the email the first name the last name of the person the activity and all these details so uh, i am going to use the data that i have received from the first step to map the data here to create a person in nchar so this is my nchar applications dashboard guys okay here I am in the people's people section and here you can find out the people's okay so here I am clicking on the email field and from this first step I am mapping the email address of the person which is uh, here okay for the f okay so let's see if we got the first name and the last name separately okay we did not got the first and the last name separately so uh, you can leave these fields blank as well because these are not the compulsory things and let's map the name full name here in this name field Okay, so I am mapping the full name here in the name field like this Okay Let's see if we have the date date as well of the creation of this Okay, so you can use this created date time here in this lay in this label in this field Okay so if you have the uh, details of all these things, you can map all these data. Right now I am just mapping a few things that we got from the conversation like this. Okay. And it is sufficient to create a person now. Right. So let me scroll down a bit more here. It, it is showing us many fields here. You can enter many details of your lead. Okay. So when I click on save and send test request now a new lead or a new pe person will be created here in this people's list. Okay, let us check the connection. I'm clicking on save and send test request guys. And this is the response you can see here. Now let's check in our uh, in charge application if we got the data. I'm refreshing the people section. And you can see a new person named as Akib J Khan is added here with the same details that I have mapped here in the workflow. Okay, you can see. So connection with NCHAR is also working properly and we are done setting up the automation. And guys, the good part is you have to set up this automation only once. After that, as and when you are going to capture any lead from your chatbot, the same lead will be added here in your Google Sheet application and in NCHAR automatically. Okay. And the good part is you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.